Alright, so I just got some plants in today from Sarah Arsenia Northwest there in Oregon. I like ordering from them because they ship their plants. They don't ship their plants bare rooted, they ship them in pots and we're going to unwrap them. They're one of my favorite carnivorous plant sellers. Um, I got some butterworts here or Penguicula. Am I pronouncing that right? And let's check them out. I'm going to go ahead and unwrap these. I got three of them here. Just unwrap them one at a time so you can keep them labeled. Take your time. Wow, that looks awesome. Let's do, uh, let me get a close up of this. This is how it arrived in the mail. Look how beautiful. What a good shape this is in. These guys always do a great job wrapping. Beautiful plant. Alright, let's open it the rest of the way. Next, we've got a Pinguicula Agneta. Alright, let's unwrap this one. Oh, look how beautiful this plant is. Alright, let's get a close up. Nice, healthy looking plant. I love, they're shipped, they're, they're shipped, roots are not disturbed. Alright, I'm going to finish opening this one. And we got one more, Pinguicula Aphrodite. So let's open this one up. got a little color to it. Leaves are a little thicker. You can tell their soil mix is pretty sandy. Probably about 50% sand, 50% peat. Now let's check them out. Also these are underneath my new grow lights here. Uh, if you haven't watched the video for these, watch my video on my new grow lights. I'm using a set of four T5 bulbs up here. And let's take one more look at all three of these. Remember, they like pinguiculas like to be moist, but not not super wet. So. Keep the soil moist until it's fast draining. I use 100% reverse osmosis water for all my carnivorous plants. If you have questions and comments, be sure to post. And as always, remember to subscribe. Take one more look.